HIV, or human immunodeficiency virus, is a complex virus that targets the immune system, specifically the CD4 cells, which are a type of white blood cell that plays a significant role in protecting the body from infections. The process begins when HIV enters the body, typically through contact with infected bodily fluids. Once inside, the virus seeks out CD4 cells to infect. First, the virus enters the body, targeting CD4 cells. These cells are crucial for the immune response, and their destruction leads to the weakening of the immune system. HIV binds to the CD4 receptor, fusing with the cell membrane. This binding is facilitated by the virus's envelope proteins, which interact with the receptors on the surface of the CD4 cells. Inside, it uses reverse transcriptase to convert RNA into DNA. This enzyme is unique to retroviruses like HIV and allows the virus to integrate its genetic material into the host cell's DNA. This DNA integrates into the host cell's DNA. The integration is carried out by another viral enzyme called integrase, which inserts the viral DNA into the host's genome. The host cell produces new viral particles, destroying it in the process. As the virus replicates, it assembles new viral particles that bud off from the host cell, eventually leading to the cell's death. This cycle continues, leading to a decline in CD4 cells. The persistent replication and destruction of CD4 cells result in a gradual decrease in their numbers. As the CD4 count drops, the immune system becomes compromised. This immunodeficiency makes the body more susceptible to opportunistic infections. Understanding these stages underscores the importance of ongoing research. Scientists are continually working to develop effective treatments and vaccines to combat HIV. Each breakthrough brings us closer to ending this global epidemic. The development of an effective HIV vaccine remains one of the most significant challenges in modern medicine. Public health initiatives and education are crucial in preventing the spread of HIV. By raising awareness and promoting safe practices, we can reduce the transmission of the virus. Testing and early diagnosis are key components in managing HIV. Early detection allows for timely treatment, which can significantly improve the quality of life for those living with HIV. Antiretroviral therapy, ART, has transformed HIV from a fatal disease to a manageable chronic condition. ART works by suppressing the viral load, allowing the immune system to recover and function more effectively. Despite these advancements, the search for a cure continues. Researchers are exploring various strategies, including gene editing and immune modulation, to find a permanent solution to HIV. The journey to an HIV-free world is long and challenging, but with perseverance and dedication, it is within reach. Every discovery, every new piece of knowledge, brings us one step closer to ending the HIV-AIDS epidemic. Current vaccines in use or in trial include RV144, HVTN702, and Imbocodo. These vaccines represent the forefront of our efforts to combat HIV and bring hope to millions worldwide. The life cycle of the virus is a key factor in why developing a vaccine is so challenging. HIV AIDS continues to be one of the world's most challenging health issues, affecting over 38 million people globally. Despite great advances in treatment, a definitive vaccine remains elusive. However, scientific communities are united in their determination to develop a protective vaccine that could halt the epidemic. The development of a vaccine for HIV AIDS is a complex task, primarily due to the virus's rapid mutation rate and its ability to evade the human immune system. But hope is not lost. Researchers are using multiple strategies to tackle these obstacles. There are several innovative approaches to vaccine development, each aiming to target HIV's unique traits. Live attenuated vaccines use a weakened form of the virus to stimulate the immune system without causing disease. However, safety concerns about using live HIV in any form make this approach controversial and limited in human trials. Another approach is to use an inactivated form of the virus. While these vaccines are safer, their effectiveness in generating long-term immunity against HIV has been insufficient so far. Subunit vaccines involve using small pieces of the HIV virus, such as proteins or antigens, to stimulate the immune system. Subunit vaccines focus on the body, recognizing specific parts of the virus, making it easier to target and attack. DNA or mRNA vaccines introduce genetic material that instructs cells to produce HIV proteins. These proteins then stimulate the immune system to produce antibodies. This approach has gained significant traction, especially with the success of mRNA vaccines for COVID-19. Vector-based vaccines use a harmless virus as a carrier, which is engineered to express HIV proteins and elicit a strong immune response. Human neutralizing antibodies play a crucial role in the immune response against HIV. These antibodies can recognize and bind to the virus, preventing it from infecting cells. By studying these antibodies, scientists aim to create vaccines that can induce the body to produce its own neutralizing antibodies, offering long-term protection against HIV. Nature is ultimate.